Um, how you doing, baby? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Eh, not too bad. Have you lost that love and feeling? <laughs> Have I lost that love and feeling? You mean like, um, you never close your eyes anymore when I to kiss your lips. And there's no tenderness like before when your fingertips stop. <laughs> You're trying hard not to show it, baby. Baby, 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 baby I, I know it. it. You lost that love and feeling. Whoa, that love and feeling. You lost that love and feeling. Now it's gone, gone, gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Baby, baby, I get down on my knees for you. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> what do you think, sweetie? Should we start the show? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Um, let's put on some tunes. Ah. Hey, Buju! And welcome back to Buju Nana Buju, the podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. I am Natasha, over here, <laughs> just looking cute. Oh, come on. The star of the show, Nana Buju. Hey, Buju, everybody. And uh, over here, the rock star cartoonist, Michael Lyons. It can down, Buju, Michael. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. And uh, me, who am I? Well, my name is Natasha. And uh, yeah, welcome to the Ojibwe Language and Culture Podcast. Today's Ojibwe word of the day, Nijo Gijra Good, second day. It's Tuesday, sweetie. It sure is. Nijo Gijra Good. You're just rocking that harmonica, huh? Oh, thank you, sweetie. <laughs> la la, doo doo. This is my favorite line. I used to sit up at night. Yeah? Just, just so I could watch ya. And what would you do? I wrote on my bedroom wall. Yeah? Nana Buju loves Natasha. Oh, weedie Buju. Nijo Kisha good. Oh, the second day. It's the second day where Nana Bushu loves Natasha. <laughs> yeah. So without further ado, please welcome Nana Bushu. Take it away, baby. <laughs> Thank you so much, Weenie Mushane. Hey, Bushu. How you doing? Let's see who's here. Lori, sweetie, Lori is here. Hey, who's you, Lori? Lori gets a gold star. Gold star for Lori. She's first in the class. And then, of course, Kaya Thunder. Baju. Ba, ba, how do you say it? Ba, baju, buju. Uh, bu, I can't say it. Buju. Silver star for Kaya. Silver star for Kaya. What's up, my sisters from another Mr. Nah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a Tuesday, all right. And what happened to our sign? Nijo Gija Gud, sweetie. Second day. And what can we say about Tuesdays? What can you say that hasn't been said before? That hasn't already been said. Nijo. Beja go. Nijo. First, second. Um, I don't know. Are there any good songs that have the word Tuesday in them? There's um, la 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 Tuesday, Ruby Tuesday. Yeah, there's that Beatles song. 
but I don't remember how it goes. Me either. Good day, sunshine. Ruby Tuesday. I don't know. Anyway, what's going on? I hear Brian Souls is here. What are you kidding me? Brian Souls. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. How you doing, Niji? I can't believe it. Brian Souls is here. He's a soul man. Do 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 do. Brian a soul man. No 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 no. Got what I got. The hard way. La di da. How's it going, Brian? We're trying to think about something relevant to say about Tuesday. You know, because that's the Ojibwe word for for the day. Nijo good. I don't know. Tuesday. It's our second day of the week. It's the last day of August. Manu Minike Gizus. The wild racing moon. I saw that Vern and Tammy are out on a racing yesterday. Yeah, I saw that picture. We should go visit them. I know, it's been forever. It's the wild racing moon. A lot of Shanabs are out there harvesting the sacred wild rice. The Monomen. And this is a story of the first, of the second Tuesday. <laughs> Not a lot of people know this, but uh, the first wild racing season was a, started on a Tuesday. That's why they call it Nijo Gija Good Tuesday. Because it's a sacred day for the Anishinaabe. And this is a story of Manomen. And uh, what can I say about Manomen? The food that grows on the water. That's what they said. Oh, you'll know you've come to your, the place when you get come to the land where food grows on water. Well, it grows in water. Technically, it just picks up over out of the surf, you know. But, yeah, today's last day of Thursday. Last day of Thursday. Last day of uh, August. Tomorrow will be a new month, a new moon. Summer is quickly coming to an end. School will start again. You know, make sure you're... Uh, you pack uh, your kids' lunch. Make sure you get some school supplies. You're going to need some... Uh, what are they going to need? Pencils, pens, notebooks, calculator. Um, <laughs> do kids still use calculators? I don't know. Um, mask. Um, that gold star you wear when you get vaccinated. Or don't get vaccinated. <laughs> Um, you know, some sort of handgun, weaponry. You, you, if you're going to send your kid to public school, make sure he's armed. Because, you know. Um, we don't need no education. Bum, 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 bum. What do you think, Michael? About what? I don't know. Does this time of year make you nostalgic for school? I Actually, this time of year does make me nostalgic for a lot of beginnings, like school and stuff. But no, honestly, it makes me uh, grateful I'm no longer a kid. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Huh? Yeah, this time of year, you know, the, the smells are different, starts to cool off, makes me, reminds me of being a kid, going to school, you know, you get your new school clothes. It's kind of exciting that first day. But then the drudgery sets in. And you're like, oh yeah, that's right. I have to do this every day. And there's big kids who are bullies. And teachers who are bullies. And uh, a lot of pointless uh, busy work and hurting of children. But, uh, you know. Oh, Brian says Taco Tuesday. That's right. Tuesdays are Taco Tuesday. Tuesdays are the day that we honor the contributions of the Mexican brothers and sisters. The taco. 
a corn tortilla somehow I don't know made hard stuffed with ground beef tomatoes lettuce onions maybe a little packet of mild hot sauce if you're from Minnesota just the mild stuff let's not go crazy we're awfully far north of the border here um but yeah it's taco Tuesday we can go out and get should we go get some tacos well, you want me to go get tacos? Yeah, could you run the Taco John's for us while we do the show? Ah, I, I better not. Really? Yeah, I, I should watch what goes on here. All right. La, la, la. Yeah, Taco Tuesday. What else have uh, Mexicans given us? Um, The sombrero. The sombrero. Terrible music. How come how come Mexico can't make better music? I know it's the worst. <clears throat> la 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 cucaracha la cucaracha la 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 la. Do, 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 do. This is what all music down south of the border sounds like. La 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 la. <sighs> Ever woken up to? Uh, Mexican, what's that called? Flamenco music or something? I don't know what it's called. I'm so culturally illiterate. So, oh, this is the podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. Because we don't know anything about any other culture. Every other culture is like a stereotype to me. You know. <clears throat> um, like everything I know about Mexican culture I learned from, uh, you know, cartoons. Speedy Gonzalez. Oh. Epe, epe, andale, andale. I think that means hurry up, hurry up. Let's go, let's go. I think that's like umbe. I think that's Spanish for umbe. Come on. Umbe, umbe. Let's go, come on. Majada. Let's, let's go. But that's not important. What's important to me, sweetie? What's that? Anin. A G A I N. How are you? I'm I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry too. I haven't had any breakfast yet. You know, I haven't I haven't broken the fast. I haven't had anything to eat since that tuna wrap. We're out of the groceries, sweetie. We got to go to Walmart. Yeah, let's go to Walmart after the show. We're going to Walmart. We're gonna go hunting and gathering for food. But how are you guys? Anin. A-G-A-I-N. I mean, really. Everyone asks that, but only I care. You know, it's always, hey, how are you? Fine. I'm fine. How are you? Fine. I'm not saying I'm great. I'm not saying I'm bad. I'm right in the middle. I'm a C, C minus, C plus. I'm clear to partly cloudy, you know. How are you? Nimbukade. For some reason, and I couldn't explain why, you know how, like, we're always talking about ni and gi? Like, ni men wendum, I am happy. Gi men wendum, you are happy. For some reason, when you say bakade, you say nim. If there's a, a B word and you want to say I am that B word, you got to say nim. Nim bakade. I'm hungry. I'm going to go down and get the uh, Grand Slam breakfast. Like Thomas builds a fire. Like Thomas carries the movie. <laughs> yeah. Like Thomas is the only good actor in that whole movie. Well, what about, uh, what's his face? Oh, Mr. Overrated. <clears throat> um, Adam Beach. Yeah, Adam Beach. Everybody loves Adam Beach. I know. Everybody loves Adam Beach because he's been in all the cool roles. Because everybody loves Squanto. I think that's half of it. But come on. Actually, you know what? Adam Beach is probably a better actor than Thomas Builds a Fire. Hey, Victor. Where's your dad? I mean, nobody talks like that. Have you ever met an Indian man who has an accent like that? Never. Not me. Not anybody I know. Hey, Victor. Where's your accent? <laughs> 
But everybody loves Thomas because actually he does kind of nail that extreme uh, res accent. Okay, here's top today's topic. How are you? Just how resy are you? Do you say these weird res words that people think are Ojibwe but are just language that only reservation people understand? Like the word studis. Studis. Come on, studis. Studis. S T O O D I S. Studis. What are you talking about? Let us do this. Let us do this thing. You know, it can be a call to, to battle. Skoden. Uh, I beg your pardon, sir? Skoden. Let us go then and do battle. And you stand up and you say, Studis. We, we'll go outside of the big tap and we will, we will bring fists to cuffs. I will fight for my honor. Studis, how are you? You know? Sometimes we get so busy, we get so wrapped up in our worries, so wrapped up in our memories that we, we don't just stop and kind of take a minute and go, hey, you know what? How are you? You know, let's check in. I'm just checking in. How's, what's going on? How are you? Do you need some help? Are you great? I'm curious. <laughs> How is the Bujo crew? Uh, Sheila's here. Hey, Sheila, what's going on? Sheila's here, sweetie. Hey, Bujo, Sheila. Oh, Sheila. la di da -di fried bread tacos. Yeah, we, we totally co-opted the taco on our Taco Tuesdays. Hey, I wonder if those uh, people are going to be selling tacos again today. You mean fried bread tacos? Yeah. Not to be confused with the Indian tacos, which are actually made out of Indians. Uh, yeah, there's always uh, somebody hangs a sign on our lawn. <laughs> we live kind of close to a uh, like, uh, country kitchen. And, you know, there's some traffic that goes in front of my house. I'm not exactly out in the wilderness here. I'm not downtown. It's, it's a pretty quiet neighborhood, but I'm not that far from, like, Perkins and the restaurants and that. So once a week, and it's probably on Tuesdays, one of our neighbors sells uh, fry bread tacos. As a fry bread taco stand. You, just, you pull up like it's a garage sale. How many fry bread tacos would you like? And I'll make you a fry bread taco... And put it in a styrofoam box. And you'll be on your way. You can get a bottle of water too if you like. One dollar. <laughs> Taco Tuesdays. Because today is a Jibwe word of the day. Nijo Gijagad. Second day. Taco Tuesday. Go get yourself some tacos. And quit your whining. Quit your crying around. How are you? Uh... Well, you're kind of a pain in the neck to all your friends. Oh, I sure wish I had a taco. Why come nobody will ever buy me a taco on Taco Tuesday? And I'm like, dude, it's 8, 19 in the morning. Can't you at least wait till lunch? That's not exactly a breakfast. And, and you say, oh, really? Well, what about uh, breakfast burritos, smart guy? You're saying tacos aren't, you, you'll have a breakfast burrito. Why can't you have a breakfast taco? I'll put some scrambled eggs in there for you if you'd like. On the reservation, if you go into a gas station and you ask them, hey, will you make me a uh, breakfast burrito? Number one, they probably already made about 10 for the truckers and that. But, oh, wow, those things are good and they'll kill you. Because it's, it, you know, it looks like a burrito on the outside. It's wrapped in a, in a thing. But it'll have, you know, like... Scrambled eggs, sausage, spicy taco cheese, maybe some, uh, once in a while they throw in potatoes in there. <laughs> I'm just going to wrap it up in a burrito. And here you go. It's a breakfast burrito. And, and it's also the size of your leg. It's probably got a thousand calories in just that one breakfast burrito. But, oh, wow, it's so good. You eat the thing, and then you just want to turn around, go back home, and go to bed. 
because now you're full and sweaty and it's so good and it's probably not very good for you we haven't had one of those breakfast burritos in quite a while huh sweetie no nope. you want to go down to uh Cass lake stop and shop or the junction should we go to the junction get a uh uh, breakfast burrito. Clog our arteries with the uh, cholesterol. Nah. All right. Today's probably one of the last really beautiful days. I don't think. Is it supposed to rain today? I don't know. I heard that, but it's really sunny right now. You want to go outside and check? Uh, yeah. Would you mind? I'm going to teleport outside and see what the weather's like. Anin. Eiji, uh, Eiji way buck. Agua ching. I'm gonna go find out how the uh, weather is outside. Sweetie, would you uh, teleport me? You got it! When to teleport outside? Hang on! <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Uh. Hello! Hi, sweetie. Oh, did you make it out okay? Yep. I'm outside. How is it? Zagate. It's sunny. Oh, awesome. All right. Well, give me a call when you want me to pick you up. Okay, sweetie. Roger. Over and out. Roger that. Over and out. Boop. <sighs> yeah, it's really pretty out here. Oh, there's a chickadee. Giji Giji Ganashin. Giji Giji Ganashin. Chickadee. Oh, you don't have a text for it. How can I read it? It's like, well, I'm sorry. Just listen. This is how they taught language in the old days. Giji Giji Ganashin. Chickadee. Giji Giji Ganashin. You hear that? It's a chickadee. And over there, there's a... Uh, Andeg, there's a crow. Hmm. I think I'll say a little prayer. Asema. Unless you're from Net Lake, Sema. Unless you're from Winnipeg, Osema. <laughs> Tobacco. Yeah, what you want? <laughs> no, I'm saying a prayer. Oh, sorry, my son. When you said my name, I thought you wanted to talk to me. Well, I do, but I'm just saying a prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, get your money to the great spirit. Yeah, I was just going to put out some tobacco and uh, say a little prayer. Oh, okay. Well, go ahead. Who's stopping you? <laughs> oh, kind of you. Um, get your money to great spirit. Accept my tobacco. Nanabuju Nindijina Kaz. Nanabuju is my name. This is Nanabuju. Yeah, whatever you want to say. Uh Dagawi Dukawishan Minawe Nungum. Please help me to speak well today. Um Miigwech Ka Iji Gijakuk. Thank you for this day. Oh wow, it's a it's a really nice day. Mino Gijakuk. It's a nice day. Mino Giga Giga It's a nice morning. It's a good morning. <laughs> um Miigwech. Thank you for my life. And these flies out here. <laughs> um, let's see. Thank you for the path I've been on. You know, help me to stay on uh, the Misco Mikana. Misco Mikana Red Road. Help me not to uh, fall off the road. And go off in a bad way. You know. Like the Christians will pray. Like the Bible says. You know, Lead me not into temptation. 
Deliver me from evil. Don't let me get tempted. I sure think about drinking a lot. <laughs> For a guy who doesn't drink anymore, I love to bring it up. I seem to be tempting myself. Help me not fall off the wagon. Give me the wisdom. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you know, help me not fall off. Help me not believe my own lies about drinking. Get you money do. Thank you for blessing me with uh, the show and its talents. Please remind the uh, viewers of the show that if they'd like to support the show, they can click the link in the description for GoFundMe, Patreon, PayPal, and Amazon.com. I'm just kind of kidding about that. Um, get you manado. Miigwech. Kaiji ka Miigwech kaiji kakean kakina keku. Thank you for everything. Chikean kakina keku. I can't remember that. Nungum today. Thank you for everything that you do today. Miumenik, miigwech, miigwech pizendawiak. Thank you, thank you for listening. Amen. Or that's enough. Miumenik. Miumenik is kind of an expression that, you know, they translate to, it means that it, it is so or something. But it's kind of like that word, amen. I mean, I've heard that the Ojibwe word for amen is ape enge. But it's like, let's... <laughs> I'm not even sure what amen means. A group of men? I think that means this is it, or that's enough, or I'm done. The end. You know. Sincerely yours. <laughs> With best regards. Oh, yeah. That's anyway. That's kind of how I pray. I always start in Ojibwe and then I trail off in English. And then I return in Ojibwe. Some people think it's in really bad taste to uh, record yourself praying. Some people think it's really wrong to photograph or videotape ceremonies. You know, they don't even want the powwows, you know, videotaped. But I always wonder, it's like, you know, Somebody told you that was not permitted in the traditional way. It's like, how many video cameras did they have back in the day? <laughs> you know, what was that, one of Sitting Bull's policies? You must never take a cell phone video camera live feed of a sweat lodge ceremony. That is forbidden in our way. Like I knew a guy once who told me, he goes, you know, you're never supposed to get a Heart transplant, if you're a traditional Indian. That's not our way. It's like a heart transplant. How many heart transplants were they doing back in the days of the grandfathers? In fact, I even asked an elder of mine. He was like, yeah, that sounds like one of those new rules. You know? <laughs> like there were the traditional values. The Nijwaswi, Anishinaabe, Apitendagozi, the seven Indian values. Respect, courage, humility, wisdom, uh, honesty, truth, and love. These were our values. These were like the commandments for the Indian men. We know that much about the old ways, the values. But to the particulars of, you know, women, uh, you're not supposed to be on the drum. When was that rule enacted? Why? Who is the authority? Did the, did the great spirit himself give somebody a vision and says, hey, by the way, I'm not going to tell anybody else, but will you tell the ladies to stay off the doggone drum? 
Um, or was that some rule they came up with in the 60s? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't care either way. Um, I'm not here fighting for the rights of women to invade men's spaces. You know, men need a safe space too. I heard once that golf used to stand for gentlemen only, ladies forbidden. This was a place for gentlemen, a place where they can be away from women and just commune with other men, a safe place where they don't have to worry about, you know, sucking in their guts and looking good. Or they not have to worry about being catcalled and uh, objectified by women. They could just get together, have a few drinks, smoke a cigar, and play a little game where you hit a little white ball and then walk, you know, a long ways and hit it again and try to get into the hole. You have conversations. It was a very dignified thing. But then the ladies came along and they said, Hey man, that's sexist. How come we can't be here in your clubhouse? We want to be golfers too. Which, by the way, my uh, my cousin uh, Linda apparently is a champion uh, golfer. She won a tournament the other day. Way to go, Linda. <laughs> anyway, um, but so men used to have spaces that were reserved from just men. And nobody made a big deal out of it. Now... Now you can have a gym that forbids men, kind of, unless they're transgendered women, then you you got to let them in. But women want safe spaces with just women, you know. They want to be able to work out and wear, you know, ill-fitting yoga pants without worrying about men. Well, how come a man just can't just have a men's club? It's like, sorry. It would be like the Little Rascals. Remember that old show? It would be like the, the Boys Club. Boys Club of America. No girls allowed. <laughs> I don't know. But again, on the other hand, I remember that the one time I went to a summer camp that was all no girls. What a drag. I showed up at Legionville. It was a summer camp where they trained you to be a, a school patrol. And we show up there on the first day, and I look around, and I realize, where, where are all the girls? And I'm like, no, no, there's no girls here. This is an all-boys camp. And I went, oh, no. You mean it's just guys all week? Well, that's not the camp experience I'm familiar with. You know, where I come from, we go to Bible camp, and it's one long hookup fest, trying to find girls and dating. It's one huge drama of trying to find a girl to take to the banquet on the last night. You get to have all these romantic evenings. and I love summer camp because of the girls. But then, I don't know, all guys? Yeah, I don't think so. And just for the record, I don't golf. <laughs> so if they still had, like, all gentlemen's golf... Um, but uh, I, I probably wouldn't be part of the club anyway. I don't know. Where do we go from here? Now that all of the children are grown up. Hey, chemtrail. There's a chemtrail here. It goes all the way across the sky. Chemtrails, man. They're spraying something in the air. I don't know what. But you'd be kidding yourself if you think that's not a trail of chemicals being sprayed out of a plane. Oh no, it's just, uh, you know, harmless water vapor. It doesn't look like that to me. I don't know. Hi, sweetie, it's Nana Bushu. Oh, hi, how you doing? Oh, pretty good. You all done praying out there? Yeah, I put out some tobacco. 
Oh, okay. You want me to pick you up and teleport you back home? Would you mind? Not at all. Hang on, I'm going to scan for your coordinates. All right. Locking on your coordinates. <laughs> when to teleport home. Don't move. All right. Welcome back. Thank you, sweetie. How is it outside? Oh, it's beautiful. Should we go for a bike ride? Yeah, we could. You want to take a bike ride around the lake? <laughs> well, I don't know if I want to go all the way around the lake. That's a long way. Oh, okay. <clears throat> but yeah, it's gorgeous out there. I put out some tobacco and then talked about golf. <laughs> you don't know anything about golf. I know. That's how stupid it was. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're back. All right. Do you want to play a song? I could. What song do we have queued up? Um, I think it's Emily with Ishi. Oh, that's a great song. Yeah, huh? <laughs> All right, so here's a story for the kids. Back in the days of the grandfathers. It was a golden era. I believe the year was something like 2016, 2017. I, I, I can't remember. There was a band that broke up, a band called Ishe. And this band, Michael Lyons, was the lead singer. Wait, I can't tell this story. I was the lead singer, I guess, because I'm going to show the video with me singing this song. <laughs> Here's a song called Emily that we recorded with the band Ishi. And we, we recorded in the... Uh, the Gary Berger Studios in Turtle River, Minnesota. It was a glorious, like, two-day um, recording, eight-hour days, where we were just in the studio together, working on songs. Not just working on recording songs, doing the different tracks, you know, getting down to math. You know, it was just great. Gary was just a, a pro. And some people will remember Gary Berger as a member, one of the founding members of the band, The Monks, a punk band, an American punk band that got their start in Germany. Some people called Gary the father of punk, grandfather of punk, or the monks, the grandfather of punk music. Before the Sex Pistols and the punk wave of England or whatever, there was a band of guys from America, one guy in particular from Minnesota named Gary Berger, who were, were in the, I think the army, I think he was an army guy, in the early 60s, mid 60s maybe. No, probably early 60s. And uh, they started a band and they had a unique sound, kind of a garage band sound. Really loud, really aggressive, and just had fun. Um, and the guys in the band all wore monk robes with like rope belts. And then they shaved their heads to look like a monk, like from, uh, you know, Robin Hood. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they released, I think, three albums of like the first punk music ever recorded under the band name The, the Monks. And they toured in Germany for a few years. And then I think they came and were a band in, in the States after he got out of the army. But then, you know, eventually he, the monks broke up and he grew old. And uh, Gary Berger was our producer. Uh, and, and we were the last band he ever recorded until uh, before he passed away. So this song is in memory and a tribute to Gary Berger. From the great band, the monks. And up next, the lovely and talented Natasha. Ah.
to teleport out here. So pretty. So good to be back with the Bushu crew. Bushu, Nana Bushu, Neiman Way Dom. Brandy Marie is here. Bushu, Brandy, what's going on? And Kai is under. Um, in Potawatomi, we say, ew, meaning that's all, folks. Yeah, ew, like mew. That's all, folks. <laughs> we have a bayou park called Potawatomi Park. They were the primary tribe where I live now. My boyfriend has was Chippewa Saginaw. Oh, no kidding. La, 
la 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 la. And Jessica Waboos is here. Me no giga shave, Jessica. Me no giga shave. La 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 la. Um, so yeah. You know, it's a Tuesday. Arneen, A-G-A-I-N, how are you? I should go back. Ba-dip. Hello. Sweetie, would you mind picking me up? I teleported out here, and I want to come back. <laughs> okay, hang on. Let me scan for your coordinates. All right, thank you. All right, locked on your coordinates. One to teleport home. Okay. Hold on. How was it out there? Oh, it's nice. It's beautiful. Yeah, huh? Na, 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 na. You got a cute way of talking. So you want to go for a bike ride, huh? Yeah, sure. You got a cute way, me. Yeah, but I'm so hungry. And I know if we go eat at Country Kitchen, then I'm not going to want to ride a bike. I'll be too full. I'm just going to take a nap. <laughs> You're not going to take a nap after breakfast. I might. You got a cute way of talking. We could go to the grocery store and like buy kale shake stuff. Yeah, we could. Because kale shakes are so healthy. And such a bore. <laughs> uh, healthy food is all boring. I want a breakfast burrito. Yeah. But we can't eat like that. We're too old. Maybe you are. I'm not. I can eat anything I want and never gain any weight. You got a cute way of talking. What was the other Ojibwe phrase? Nipa, sleep. Gosh, cozy. Wake up. It's time to wake up. Gosh, cozy. Everybody's going to move their feet. Nipa, everybody's going to go to sleep. Do, 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 do. Nipa means loose sleep. Gosh, cozy. Gosh, cozy. Wake up. Gosh, cozy. Holy gosh, cozy. <laughs> Why don't you wake up? When I was a little girl, my mother would, would, would wake me up by coming in and she'd play a little flute music. And she'd whisper, Hello, princess, wake up. Wake up. It's time for your hot breakfast. And no, no, it wasn't at all. My mother had burst into the room. This is when I was like first grader. Top of her lungs sing, it's time to get up, it's time to get up, it's time to get up, it's morning, it's time to get up, it's time to get up, it's time to get up right now, you've got to get up, you know, she would just sing taps, and me and my brother would be like, mom, would you stop it, what a terrible way to wake up, you was singing military taps at us, it's time to get up. Wake up! You don't want to nip You don't want to sleep on the job. There's too much to do. There's too much to experience, you guys. It's time to wake up. You've been living in a dream, man. Why you gotta live in a dream world, man? What you believe? Everything you see on TV? Gosh, cozy, wake up! They're lying to you, man. They're lying to you. You gotta think for yourself. Use your own eyes. Use your own mind, man. Gosh, cozy. I'm here to tell you. Huh, sweetie? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, but yeah. You tell them, baby. Yeah. Don't take my word for it, you know. Nana Boucher, tell ya. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about now. Gosh, cozy, wake up. Hey, sweetie. Yeah? You want to take a call? Oh, sure. I'll take a phone call. Who could that be? What line? Line two. Line two. Caller. 
You're welcome to the Boujou, not a Boujou podcast. You're on the air. Hey, yo, Natasha, what's going on? Well, hi, Sylvester. Yeah, you can call me Sly. I mean, Sly, how you doing? Sweetie, Sylvester Stallone is on the phone. Hey, what's going on, Rocky? Hey, yo, not a Boujou. Hey, yeah. So, how can I help you this morning? Well, you know, I wanted to call in, and you know, I was watching his show, and I was learning the Ojibwe word of the day, Nijokijagad. That's right. Very good. Sly, Nijokijagad, second day. Yeah, you know, and uh, I want to say something about the second day. Yeah? You know, it doesn't matter about what you do on the first day. What matters is what's on the second day. What do you mean? I mean... You know, it doesn't matter how hard you hit. It's how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. What? Because that's how winning's done. You get hit and you keep moving forward. And, you know, you go around, you, you're not happy where you are. You go blaming, you know, on somebody else. You know, that's loser talk. And that ain't you. You're better than that. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, thank you, um, Sly. You know, I mean, I just wanted to tell you something you already know. <laughs> yeah, you tell us that every time you call. Well, you know, I just wanted to be inspirational. And, uh, well, I, I, you know, I kind of felt like maybe I could give you a pickup. And, uh, you know, sometimes I, I yell because I, I don't know why. You know, I don't, you, I don't know why, okay? You want to break me down? You know, I never asked you, Natasha, to stop being a woman. Don't, don't ask me to not be a man. <laughs> I, I, I promise I won't. You know. <sighs> Sly. Yeah, yeah, what, 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 what's that? <laughs> Can I tell you something as a friend? Yeah, uh, yeah, what's that? I think maybe you should lay off the steroids a little bit. The what now? Steroids. Have you heard of roid rage? Have I heard of roid rage? Yeah! I mean, uh, Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when you take too many steroids, it can uh, it can kind of screw up your like emotional regulation, and you'll find yourself like flying off the handle for no reason. You know, I I have been noticing that I have been kind of an emotional wreck lately. You know, it sort of reminds me, you know, when I was when I went toe to toe with Apollo Creed, and I went the distance with Apollo Creed. Yeah, you sure did. But you probably weren't taking so many steroids in those days. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So, will you consider maybe cutting back a little bit? Absolutely. <laughs> well, thanks. You're so agreeable. Absolutely. Sly? Absolutely. <laughs> Sly, you okay? Absolutely. Sweetie, I think something's wrong with Sylvester Stallone. Are you okay, Mr. Stallone? Absolutely. <laughs> I think I broke his brain. Absolutely. Sylvester Stallone! Huh? What? 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 Who is this? It's Natasha. You just had a stroke. Oh, yeah, that'll happen. You know, I took a couple of blows to the head. And then sometimes, sometimes my, my brain don't work so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you should get that checked out too. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know, I took a lot of blows to the head, and sometimes, you know, my brain, it don't work so good. <laughs> okay. Sylvester Sloan, I better, I better get going. Oh, absolutely. Hey, can I, uh, can I say, uh, uh, the Ojibwe phrase for, I will see you again? Well, yeah. Do you remember how to say it? Uh, Giga Waba Min Minawa. That's right. Giga Waba Min Minawa. And, uh, really, go, go get, uh, yourself checked out. I'm a little worried about you. Oh, forget about it. Well, sweetie, <laughs> if there's any doubt. Yeah, he's, uh, he, he's, uh, well, he's getting up there, you know. He's not a young man anymore. I mean, he's still more with it than Joe Biden. Everybody's more with it than Joe Biden. <laughs> yeah. Anywho. So... What did we learn today? We learned that today's Nijoki is good. It's the second day. We learned 
Ranin! AJ Ayan! How are you? How are you? Are you hungry? You say, Nimbakade! But if you want to tell somebody else they're hungry, which is something you'll never have to do, excuse me, sir, you are hungry. You'd say, Gim Bakade, Gim. You know, you might think Gi Bakade, but you say, Gim. Nim Bakade, Gim Bakade. I'm Nim Bakade, I'm hungry. Sweetie, sweetie, where are you? Sweetie, I'm hungry. Uh, you want to go to Country Kitchen? Yeah. Let's not go on a bike ride. Let's just go feed our fat faces and then take a mid-afternoon nap. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. That's a that's a ambitious goal in this Nijo Gijigan. We we go cozy. We wake up. If I say I woke up, you would say Nin Gi Goshkozi. I woke up. If I say I will wake up. Nin we goshkozi, you know, wabanoon, wabanoon, yeah, wabanoon, tomorrow, wabanoon, nipa, sleep, sleep, but I've been dreaming of sleep, and ape men with metal pots, but if you'd like to support the show, <laughs> I just don't have much to say, I'm just realizing. Really? You don't want to tell a story or anything? Nah. I'm kind of coasting out the hour. We got two minutes to kill. <laughs> you could talk to Missy. Oh, is Missy here? Yep. Hey, Missy, what's going on? Pujukas, Missy. Mistletoe, we call her. Because people always want to kiss underneath her. Nah, Missy. We actually call her Missing Toe. But I can't tell you why. <laughs> Sunny day. All right, that's all I have for today. Um, what can I do? Oh, here we go. I don't know. Do you have anything you want to add, sweetie? No, that's pretty good. Let's call it a show. <laughs> okay, Michael. Uh, just remind them of the GoFundMe. We've got link. Links in the description if you'd like to support the show. And a big me quatch to all of yous who already are. And uh, otherwise, if you don't have anything, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say me quatch and egg. Thank you for listening to Bushu, not a Bushu, the podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. I am Natasha. This is not a bouju. This is Michael Lyons. Hey, thanks so much for uh, uh, watching. We'll see you tomorrow. And I will see you again. Baby, baby, maybe. la di da di di do I will see you again. Gia wabba me me no Ah, yeah! <laughs> yeah. Would you do be me? Do do be blue 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 do. Ah uh, yeah, you want me to be me away? Like a quarter cup of papa chuku. Okay. <laughs> Why to be me away? Cause I lost all ability to speak for some reason. All right, hang on. Rocking on your near coordinates. One to be me away. See you tomorrow.